Javi Myers, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine, and we're going to cut right to the chase. The city has tried to stick a dagger in the hearts of chambers of commerce throughout the city. My words, not my guess. So we are having the uh, executive director. We are pleased to introduce again the executive director of the Westridge Chamber of Commerce, Amy Zander. Amy, how you doing? How's it going, Avi? Good, thank you. Now, um, tell me, so... You guys got some of your funding from the city, and it, it, like I know how you know what an expensive, lavish operation you're running, <laughs> based on the place you've got on the second floor that's not on street level, because that's about what you guys can afford, no yes. rent. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so they were going to slash. I don't know exactly what the figure is, but it was a it was a five figure chunk of money for not just from you, but from everybody else throughout the city. Yes, the line item for delegate agencies was eliminated for the 2011 budget, um, the proposed budget that went out. So we were, um, we were not told. It was one of our fellow executive directors who happened to find it in the budget that we were not going to be funded in 2011. So we've caused quite a, quite a stink about it, and our aldermen were very unhappy with that, and they've been fighting for us to restore all of our funding. So that's Bernie Stone and Joe Moore. Yes, every actually every all fifty aldermen. Um, we went out and approached. Well, wait a minute. All Do you have? Oh yeah, Joe Moore's got part of. Joe Moore has a little tiny part. Yeah. We don't have a ton of commercial uh, property in Joe Moore's ward, but yeah, he's technically east of Western. yeah, east of Western. So technically, in certain places, we serve there, but a little bit of his ward, but right. So in any event, and, and I and I you know I listen. It's a bipartisan deal. So in any event, um, is there any funding coming? Do you have prospects? Uh, well, what we've been told actually is. Um, that the city has found us a funding source and that they are going to be restoring our funding levels to the 2010 level. So with that being said, it hasn't at this point been through city council yet. So we're waiting for that approval before we get too excited that we'll be getting our, our funding back. Um, like you said, it's a small portion of our funding, uh, everything else the chamber fundraises. So we raise all of our own money through membership dues and events that we hold and seminars. Um, so our city project is one small part of our budget. Yes, yeah, Sonny, could you close the door while we stick, keep filming? Sure. Okay. So anyway, so where did, I'm sorry, where do the other revenues come from? It's all fundraised. So that might be through events that we host, membership dues. Um, this morning we had a, a workshop, so we charge money for uh, people to come in and attend our classes right, that we offer. Right, we can't offer. plug that one specifically because no. we're not supposed to go for money. Now, actually, you you um, got a very interesting event coming up. <laughs> Very interesting event coming up. Well, actually, up. it'll already have happened by the time we're on the airport. Oh, okay, okay. Our uh, candidates forum? Yeah. Yes. Uh, we are having a candidates forum here in the 50th. We have quite a number of uh, potential candidates who are running for aldermen. You uh, know what? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll put this on before the uh, forum so people oh, can go great. see it. Great. People okay. are welcome to come and check it out. We're focusing primarily on businesses. So the candidates are going to be asked some questions about what their plans are for the business community in Westridge. We're really looking forward to it. And are you having a piano? Are you asking the questions you're moderating? Uh, no, I'm not. Actually, um, Odette Youssef from WBEZ, uh, Chicago Public Radio. Hi, Odette. She is <laughs> going to be our moderator. We're really excited. Um, the radio station has agreed to uh, sponsor our event, and they're cool. going to be involved. She'll be moderating. Uh, we'll have questions prepared that we'll be asking all of the candidates, um, including Alderman Stone. And we will also... Um, allow the audience to have a chance to write out questions that they have and if we can fit those in we will as well yeah for those people who don't know you know I, as a matter of fact because you mentioned her to call me about um crime and divan and all that because because of the caps angle um there's like a storefront that says like public radio on it yes. on divan on the south side of the street and that's like a satellite office for wbez you know that uh, youssef who i did speak to um is one of the people there she is. We oh, are really by excited. By the way, one thing I didn't mention either, Mark Shipper from the New Star has been sitting in today, and we want to thank him for sitting in. And, and there's a lot of interesting new articles about the neighborhood, and it's worth picking up. At one point in time, it's like it was all press releases that, you know, like I didn't want to even dignify my fish with. But right <laughs> now, you see fresh articles, you see good writing. So, um, you know, and there was good stuff about caps. There's stuff about the city budget. Mark's doing a very nice job writing. He's not alone there. They're expanding their writing. I saw even the publisher wrote a very interesting story. So, um, yeah, you should pick up the new star. That'd be a good thing. For sure. Free. Free. So, back to you. we got a minute and a half. All right. <laughs> okay, so, um, okay. Now, you run all kinds of regular events. You run networking. You've we do. you got a women's... Um, Yep, we have all different types of events for um, our members and for the general public to come to. Residents are also encouraged to come to meet our business owners. 
Um, we're working on a study of Western Avenue with the Rogers Park Business Alliance. Uh, we've got a lot going on. Um, and uh, we're all, you know, we also run the SSA for Devon Avenue, working on different improvements for the streets. Street now, the SSA is the reason it actually gets swept more days than not. Yes. And it actually looks a whole lot cleaner. It does. It really does. It's making a difference. We've been doing it for about three years now. And, you know, it's, it's contagious. The people in the neighborhood are starting to think, I'm not going to throw this on the ground. I'll go to the garbage can because it does look so much cleaner. And being a walker, I'm not seeing quite as many, uh, quite as much bread left out for the pigeons either. Yes, we did have pigeon, uh, do not feed the pigeon fine signs installed all over Devon, um, warning people that they can be fined. And I, and I think that's helped just along with um, a couple of buildings that we have big pigeon problems have taken care of those issues and it's really made a big difference that the birds aren't living on Devon anymore. Yeah, it's a pleasure. I don't have to sidestep and worry about attacks from overhead. Yeah, attacks. I know. They scare me. I hate <laughs> pigeons. Everyone knows how much I hate them. I've got a good squab recipe. I'll share it with you. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> In any event, I want to thank Amy Zander. The and, and you know, like City to restore all the funding, you know, like that's a good yes, thing and we need it. Way to go and uh, make sure it happens because the, the chamber is one of the few things that actually helps businesses make money, helps boost the economy. It's like money put into the chambers to help to, to offer the programs because some chambers would go out of business without that. Yeah, money. we would have a really hard time going forward. There's nowhere else we can cut. We don't have we have one employee. That's me. We we pay no rent. We we have nothing left. So basically, and this is something that helps the people, and it helps business thrive in a community, it helps people make money, and I mean, there's so many positive benefits, so that's one of the few things the city does that's great. I'm really cutting Joel Pollock's time apart here. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Thanks, Sonny. Thank you, Amy. Thanks, Bye-bye, everybody.